thinking. And I've been kind of thinking about, you know, ways to, to kind of move on that metric as well. Okay, so I just finished my morning meeting from 9 to 10. Um, after that double dose of the Moltrin and the, or not double dose, but like doubled up Moltrin and Tylenol last night, he actually has his fever under control. <clears throat> he went to sleep last night with his temp around 99 and he woke up right now or earlier with it around 99 and, or 100. So that signals to me that it's working and it's going away. He didn't get a dose since 8 p.m. last night. So it's been about 14 hours now and his fever's still under control, which means that his body's fighting it off pretty well. I'm gonna give him one more dose of Tylenol after breakfast, but I'm not gonna double up again just because he doesn't need it. It's a little stronger than what he needs right now. Um, but I have a long day at the office today. We're doing our business planning meeting and all that kind of stuff for next year today. And so I'm gonna be there pretty much all day. Not sure how much content I'll get from it, but right now I have about an hour to change and get ready for the meeting. We are getting photos done or whatever. So we need to do like business um, casual attire. So I do need to get ready. Need to put on mascara too. If you guys haven't noticed, I don't even put on mascara anymore. It's just like foundation or not even foundation, powder, um, eyebrows, lips don't even do my eyes anymore unless it's like today where we need to take photos or we actually have a dinner um which we do we have a team dinner tonight so it will be pretty eventful i just need to figure out what i'm gonna wear and how i'm gonna do my hair and all that i do want to share for all my planty friends um this is my newest birds of paradise leaf that just opened up and unraveled it is huge like huge my birds of paradise leans a lot i know that it signals like issues with like the soil or sunlight or whatever but hey it's doing well it's just it's just it's huge but it's just leaning and i've tried repot it and put it straight it always just ends up leaning i don't know but my birds of paradise is so full like look at all this it's so nice and just put on mascara my eyelashes are so long. It's like stupid. Look at this. Yeah. Okay, I still need to go do my hair. Um, but this is the outfit for, um, I guess, our meeting. So business casual. So I just got a white sweater on. Oh my gosh, look at me. Who am I wearing? Light color. Anyways. Um, yeah, so white sweater with some cream colored pants. And here are the journey collection you can't really tell it's a sandal they're so comfy oh my gosh i love this i don't know should i get should i wear a matching sweater color i do have another sweater option let me throw that on and give this a try but this is option one okay this doesn't work as well so i'm gonna just stick to that white sweater but that's gonna be the look i'm gonna put my hair up in a ponytail just because it's getting a little bit oily so i'm gonna throw it up in a ponytail and probably curl the ends maybe so I don't really want to leave my hair down just because, I don't know, it just it feels a little oily. Um, here are the curls. I haven't brushed them out yet. I'm going to do that right now. Bouncy, bouncy. Okay, so really want to tie it up. Let's see if that's a good idea or not. I'll probably put a, a little silk... Scrunchy on it, kind of match the elephant. But, and then let's try to curl these bangs and see if it works. If it does, I'm gonna leave these pieces out. If it doesn't, I'm not. Let's see. All right, I'm putting it in in a sleek pony because I can't do this. <laughs> this looks too like formal, too wet and like, and it's not the vibe. I'm going for it. All right, you're going in. You're going in. All right, this is the final look. With the 
yeah, just I guess all neutrals today. My hair is really dark, so wearing white colors. Um, kind of a nice contrast there. Yeah. All right, ready? <laughs> Come on, hurry up, baby. I gotta go to work. <laughs> okay, last one. Just the one. That's it. Good job, bro. Right. Hey guys, we got our business cards finally. Awesome, I'm so excited. Finally, it's official. We got a full house up in here. Full house. Let's look at the food, too. Woohoo! Oh. Oh. Uh, gosh. No way. A profession, we do trade our time for money, but. You guys understand why you guys are here when people are joining the team? I think you have two extra ones here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got some new swag. Here are some bags. A beanie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and there's a short sleeve and a long sleeve, so. This has a logo in the front. And then this in the back. <laughs> They're talking shit about me vlogging right now. <laughs> An official outfit of the day. So this sweater is from Abercrombie. Um, these trousers are from H&M. And then these are the Journey Collection sandal flats. And I would definitely size up a whole size. I'm a true size four and a half or sometimes even a four. These are a five and it's so tight that this back strap keeps sliding down because it's like not long enough to go up here where it needs to. So I would size up like a whole size. Um, but anyways, here's the outfit. So proud of myself. I'm wearing light colors neutrals and yeah so i just thought i'd wear light colors because i feel like my dark hair looks like a good contrast yeah okay i'm gonna go change and you guys will see my nighttime outfit yeah i just peeled it i'm gonna wash your hands before you eat did the other one have that one too i didn't know it go go back yeah yeah it does oh but this one's easy Alrighty guys, outfit of the day. I have on black turtleneck, probably from H and M. Not sure. Skirt, H and M. Leggings, Amazon. Boots, Nordstrom Rack. Chanel, jacket, Burberry. Polo, Burberry. Where's your uh, pants? From? Costco. Costco. Kirkman. <laughs> We did that the same. <laughs> hey, we kind of match. Yeah. What kind of shoes you wear? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you're never freezing, but... Uh, the table back there is ours, too. I got the virgin though. She's got the real one. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Hmm, my makeup's all smudged. Um, it's pretty much 11 o'clock. I think my hair looked pretty cute style today. Yeah, but anyways, um, it's 11. I just wanted to thank everybody who wished Kaden to feel better. Um, basically, he woke up today with pretty much no fever, um, but it's just like at 99, so that's not considered an official fever. 100.4 and above is considered a fever. Um, I gave him an extra dose of Tylenol in the morning just to kind of like keep it under control. He was good all day, and then tonight... Um, before he went to bed it was kind of at 100 so i just gave him another dose um, of tylenol only just to again keep it under control just in case it spikes at night um so yeah i'm just gonna keep him home from school tomorrow one more day because i don't know what he has and i don't really want him to inf infect others although 100 percent he got it from school and they're all probably walking around with the same thing but um i just don't know like how he feels he always acts like he's perfectly fine um but i just don't want to put him in school and, and then like wake him up early like at eight for school for him not to feel good i'd rather have him sleep in and be able to take like a nap and just kind of eat well and just we can just keep an eye on him um we do have a lot of activities over the weekend we're seeing a lot of people and other kids so i definitely want to make sure he is 100 percent good tomorrow so by the time we see people on the weekend he's been fever free for 24 hours and it's no longer contagious um yeah so with that being said today was my company's um holiday party it was really fun I was supposed to film this video tomorrow, but given the fact that Kaden's sick, I don't really know what the situation's going to be like. I don't know if he's going to be home um, and then I can't film the video or if he's going to be going to my parents' house so I can film the video. I just don't know yet, so we'll see, I guess. Ugh, I told you guys, I promised you guys that I would talk about it yesterday and I didn't because Kaden got unexpectedly sick. So I'm like debating if I should talk about it right now. Okay, I just will really quickly. Um, so basically the topic is going to be about um, abusive relationships. And we're talking like mental, emotional, and physical um, abuse. Um, with that being said... If you guys know who I'm talking about, please do not comment his name. If his name is commented anywhere on the channel, I have set up filters um, to automatically block um, the comments. So please don't don't comment. My coming out to speak about this is not to throw him under the bus. It's not to say hey go hate on him or f him like it's not that and i would really 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 appreciate if you guys can um not skew my mission so the mission and the point of me coming out and speaking about this is for a couple of reasons one it's for my own healing um because this is kind of like the last piece of my puzzle i've healed a lot and i've been working on myself and speaking out about it is almost like me coming to terms with it me accepting that hey this actually happened and i'm not in denial it's me seeing the situation very very clearly and accepting that so it's for myself healing number two it's also to bring awareness and um just create conversation around the topic because abuse only can thrive in silence and um by breaking the silence um you can shed a light on abuse and how it can happen to anybody. It can happen to someone you love. It can be happening to someone who you are the most closest to, yet you could have no idea. Um, so it's just to simply create conversation. It's to create awareness. And then lastly, it's to shine a light on how social media isn't what 
you always make it out to be. I was able to film over 500 vlogs with this guy over the course of seven years, yet you wouldn't really see any signs of any abuse. Granted, um, people may have saw some red flags, but I don't think people would have, their brains wouldn't have gone to the level of abuse that was actually happening when the camera was off. So those are the three messages and the three reasons why I'm filming this video. So I would really appreciate it um, if you guys can help me out by not like adding fuel to the fire. I'm not trying to start any drama wars, whatever. Like I have a family, I've moved on. He has a family, he's moved on. It's, it literally is not about him it's not to throw shade at him it's none of that so i would like if you respect me then you would not turn this into a negative thing um and if you respect me then i would appreciate it if we create a conversation about this and we created um awareness if you guys want to share your personal experience of your own or someone you know to let people know that like this happens more often than you think and you honestly will have no idea of what goes on behind the scenes and that um, abuse is so easy to conceal, you know? So it's a topic that people don't really talk about and I think it's really important to shed a light on it. Again, I strongly, strongly believe that um, abuse can only thrive in silence. If you have a couple of minutes, there is a YouTube video that I will link in the description box below, but it is a TED Talk, and basically it's um, a woman, Leslie. She basically talks about her abuse story, and it's really short, it's just 10 minutes long, but she mentions to say that just by speaking up and talking about it, like, we're making a change so i want to contribute to that change and i want to share my story and put it out in the world um for that reason to help other people notice the signs recognize the signs for people who you know are in this relationship to give you hope that there is a way out and you know um for people who are not a part of this know the signs like check up on your friends check up on your family and see like are you okay if you have some sort of, you know, weird hunch about somebody else? So that's the most important thing to me um, and the reason why I'm speaking up. Again, um, it is scary for me to share because, again, like I said, it's really important how I convey this message. And I want to convey this message in the most, like, positive um uplifting like i want to make a change way and this video and topic of me speaking out has nothing to do with hating on anybody and bringing more negativity to the situation because we don't need more negativity to the situation you guys will kind of get an entire run through of what happened um in my video when i film it hopefully i'll have it done by next week but with that being said, let me know what you guys um, suggest and how I do it. Because the first initial video, I know how I'm going to do. I'm going to do very quick, well, not very quick, but like very high level rundown of like um, what happened, um, some of the main things that were going on. But I don't really want to get into like specific incidents where I'm giving you guys like a story time of that specific incident and like what happened and like all that kind of stuff. I'm not going into like precise, exact examples of like pinpointed of like when something happened, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah. But like, let me know, like, do I do like, do I follow it up with a QA? and a Do I like do a couple of story times diving into maybe like a specific story? Um, I don't know. I just feel like diving into a specific story may be a little more than what I want to share. Because again, like I said, this isn't 
supposed to be for like entertainment. This isn't supposed to be something where you're hating on him or anything like that. It's literally to create awareness on the bigger issue here and how common um, abusive relationships are, domestic violence. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my goal. So I hope you guys can kind of hear and understand where I'm coming from and the point of why I'm going to speak up about it and give me some ideas of how I should structure this videos or videos um, regarding it so that I can best convey my message and kind of get the point across. Um, yeah, it's a serious topic and I would just overall really appreciate if we can handle this topic with the utmost respect and kindness and care and seriousness as well. This is not something lighthearted to be joking about. We're not here to make fun of anybody, to hate on anybody and just... We're not here for any of that. We're we're here just to spread awareness and talk about it because these things need to be talked about and brought up. So, yeah, there you go. You guys will get all the deets next week in this video. But again, please don't comment his name or any version of his name or whatever. Just um, please be respectful of all the parties involved. Um, like I said, it's in the past, so I actually don't really hate the guy. Um, yeah, and if you look into um, abusive relationships, you'll realize that a lot of the times we have been brainwashed to blame ourselves. Gaslighting has a big part to do with it, right? Um, there, a lot of it has to do with us blaming ourselves. So it's funny because when my therapist asked me, like, like, are you mad at him? Like, do you harbor any, like, anger towards him? And I'm just like, no, I'm more mad at myself than anything. And that's, that's part of it. That's part of being in an abusive relationship. You just, um, you actually end up hating yourself more than you hate you know, your quote-unquote abuser, um, and that's just the way that it is, so, I mean, I don't, you don't hate the guy, um, I'm just so messed up that I hate myself more, because, you like, you know, they do all these things to, like, strip yourself of self-worth and self-esteem, and then, obviously, the gaslighting, you just think that it's your fault for everything, so, um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't hate the guy. So let's not, let's not hate the guy. Um, let's just hate the situation and, um, let's create awareness. I really hope that my video will just at least help out just one single person, either someone who's in the relationship who I can give them hope to walk away and get out or, um, raise awareness so that one person can help a loved one recognize the signs and help someone get out so that's my mission and let's let's focus this video on a positive mission um basically aimed to create awareness and change so that's kind of what the goal is so please guys I love you guys. You guys have all been here for me and I get it. This may anger a lot of people because yeah, it's not right. It's unacceptable. And I get that, but let's be bigger people than that. And let's move past the anger and kind of see the bigger picture. Okay. Cause I'm not in that situation anymore. I haven't been in that situation for a long time. So I understand your concerns, um, and love and you guys are all so great, but Let's just leave the past in the past and let's just talk about this topic like grown adults, okay? Anyways, so that's it for tonight. Um, that's kind of just like a little, I don't know, in, insight. I think some of you guys already had a, an idea of what I was going to, what the topic was um, about. But yeah, just me shedding a light and talking about 
taboo subjects that people don't tend to talk about um you guys always say that i keep it raw and i keep it real and that's the most important thing to me i <laughs> well it's so contradicting because you guys are like you guys you're all so real and you keep everything so raw and it's like well yeah i try to be right because i don't hide the lows of life like i always talk about everything i want to talk about my miscarriage i want to talk about this um but at the same time i'm also making the point that i may be really real but in the 500 plus vlogs i never you know hinted at any sort of abuse um you just get really good at hiding it something like that so yeah Actually, to be honest with you, when you're being abused, you don't realize you're being abused. You don't realize you're in an abusive relationship until after you're out of the abusive relationship. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Always trying to keep it raw and real for you guys. And, you know, talk about all these things that other YouTubers don't. Life isn't always happy and dandy and butterflies and flowers. Um, but... It's a huge part of me and it's shaped me to become who I am today. Um, I'm still kind of finding myself through therapy. I'm still making an effort to change, to discover myself, to get myself back. I lost, I think, a really big piece of me after a piece of myself after what happened and it's taken years and years of therapy to get me back and i'm still not 100 percent back but i'm just trying to get that light back i feel like the best way to describe it is to me life is so dark to me life is so cold life is not full of hopes and dreams life is so negative and will throw you curveballs all the time i've gotten to such a low place where i just i don't have hopes i don't have dreams i don't believe in like making all these amazing things happen um i just don't like <laughs> life to me sucks um and i have all these great things like going on like i've achieved so much in the last five years but i've been I've been pushing for the wrong reasons. Me pushing to achieve everything that I have today wasn't for myself, wasn't for my family, was for none of that. Me pushing all these years was to prove to somebody else that I am not the worthless piece of shit that I was told I was. And that's so messed up. Like, how would you feel? I'm not pushing. I'm not achieving all my goals for, oh, because, like, I want to give the best life to my son. Um, well, I'm trying to change that. I'm like, now it's, it's, it's that, right? But, like, in the last couple of years, it's like, I want to make this amount of money. And I want to be able to buy this and that and this and that just to prove to the people who told me that I couldn't do it, to the people who told me that I would be worth nothing and that I would achieve nothing. Like, that's such a negative way to live. And that's just kind of like the way that I've been living the last couple of years. Um, so yeah, I'm just a walking dark cloud. I have been just so much ptsd so much trauma so much depression in the last couple of years from it and i just always describe myself as just a walking dark cloud where i don't believe in any hopes and i don't have any dreams but i'm coming out and talking about this because i have moved past that point i'm finally at the point in my life where i can say i can genuinely feel happy like genuinely feel happy so i think i finally overcame most of my depression at this point <sighs> and this is just the last piece to solidify that 
I have overcame it. I have moved on. And I finally got myself back. I've got my spark back. I've got my happiness back. I've got my excitement back. My drive is for the right reason. And that is why we're talking about it. Because I'm strong enough to talk about it. Because I'm in a good place to talk about it. Because I can talk about it without getting emotional. I can talk about it without feeling like I'm still suffering through it. If that makes sense. But anyways, see, all of a sudden, long as hell. So, um... I'm going to stop myself there. But anyways, um, hope you guys have a good night. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.